Yo, what's good guys? JC here today from Fittest Gamers, and today we're going to bring to you the possible release date for WWE 2K23. So first off and foremost, let's give thanks to Patches Chance of RealSport101.com. We'll put the link in the description of the video. So if you guys want to talk about the possible release date, we have some news real quick to give you. Cody Rhodes will be in both games, WWE 2K23 and AEW Fight Forever. So I think this will be the first time ever that something like this happens. I mean, this is the first the second biggest game right that's coming out but um for wrestling there's two wrestling big names now so that's a huge deal but as far as the release dates wwe games and we're going to show you the past history a list of all the games and their release dates they tend to release games in the fall october or they release games in the spring like legends of wrestlemania before wrestlemania season and of course wwe 2k22 and usually when they release it at that time of year it leads to a big jump in selling right in profits because everybody's into the wrestling fever for wrestlemania season but the fact that we got one in 2022 called wwe 2k22 if you guys realize they always release the game the year of like this says november 2022 that title will be 2k23 so technically speaking uh as far as the success there's going to be a couple release dates thanks to the real sport 101 and i agree with this we're going to be looking at either on a friday because october 21st is a friday they're trying to be as precise as possible so usually it's on fridays so we're going to have either october of 2022 or march of 2023 is when we will see a wwe 2k23 video game now the past launches have all been october uh october once again october for 2k16 april uh our november for 2k15 i remember this one was right before uh thanksgiving so it was awesome 2k14 was october 2k13 was uh october but this is where we get the the march release dates all stars came out in march legends of wrestlemania came out in march so i mean smackdown versus raw series was always in the fall a day of reckoning was always during summer i believe and we have that uh, wrestlemania 21 was uh, released in the spring so it varies but i highly think that we're gonna get two release dates if we don't get an announcement by summerslam then wwe 2k23 will be coming out next year but if in summerslam they give us a huge announcement of the game coming out then i would say the game will be releasing this year and because they wouldn't like tease us like that but they always say big things for summerslam or wrestlemania so in all honesty i'm thinking we're gonna get a uh a next year release and even if you go to gamestop there is nothing that comes up for 2k23 and also for aw5 forever but that's a video for a different day so i just wanted to show you guys if you go to gamestop and you were to search up wwe 2k23 what comes out are the past 2k games nothing on 2k23 allowing us to assume that nothing has been said yet everything we're, we're seeing in videos are rumors or rumor bills so to speak so uh we're gonna jump into some gameplay talk about when we would want it to come out give our opinions and then you guys give us your opinion in the comment section and check us out on instagram and give us your opinion there as well dm on a post whatever it is to interact with us so let's uh go ahead and jump in to the gameplay stuff of 2k22 we're gonna have some 2k22 gameplay in the background and uh cue the static and let's get our opinions out loud now so a fall release date will be amazing for the gaming fans because we know that the best of the best games usually come out in the fall but a spring release date gives great success to wwe in sales so it all depends what they want to do and it also makes the wrestlemania season feel more exciting because we get a video game during wrestlemania season and that's always highly anticipated but to say less from my opinion i would rather get one as soon as possible because well one 2k22 did a great job in satisfying me in my wrestling game itch because we haven't had one in a while and i think they did an amazing job and i love the way how they changed some things some people don't like different different changes like the combos and the reversal system but i am perfectly fine with it because i adjusted with it and of course i did a lot of videos explaining on how to do things that would make the gameplay easier for most but nonetheless a spring release date could seem very possible my biggest prediction is that if we do not get an announcement by SummerSlam time then chances are we are not going to get one this year SummerSlam is probably going to be the deadline for the release date so to speak if we see some sneak peek stuff SummerSlam, some release some cover athlete stuff then i'm going to be like okay i think we're going to get our fall release date but until then i could only say i don't think it's going to happen what 
could we expect in this? I have no idea what to expect. They always push the envelope and everybody wants something more whenever something drops. But now they're going to be competing with AEW Fight Forever. I think they're going to step up the game. They're going to up in the ante because they have competition now. We know AEW is going to give us an amazing wrestling game because of the amount of money that they have poured into this. And a lot. this is a time where wrestling is at its peak right now. Wrestling is peaking once more in my honest opinion. We have so many different flavors, so many different choices now. Mainstream choices that it's like this is a huge deal. We haven't had this in such a long time. So uh, overall... I, I really do think that next spring is going to be the 2K23 launch, but SummerSlam is going to give us hope, and we're going to be looking forward to SummerSlam, uh, and in SummerSlam, if we get some trailer, if we get something, sneak peek of a game, then I'll be like, all right, I think we have the green light, and we're going to get one this year. So until then, I really can't say any more. There's going to be a bunch of rumor mill videos. There's going to be a bunch of articles saying this, that, and the third. We could go off of history and when WWE has released games. And it's always been two major seasons. It's been the fall and it's been the spring. WrestleMania season, Survivor Series season. Or, or holiday season, so to speak. Because we know that's when they also make a great amount of sales. Christmas gifts, Black Friday shopping. We have Survivor Series. So everyone in Survivor Series the past couple of years, I think SmackDown versus, well, not SmackDown versus Raw, but the WWE game, at least in the past, that I remember was the sponsor for it. And then I think WrestleMania this year, uh, the video game was sponsoring 2K23, I believe. I could be wrong, but there have been some years where in Survivor Series, the WWE game was like the talk of it. You know, like it was like a sponsor, not a sponsor, but you know what I'm saying? Like it was always like a brought to you by type of thing. So overall, I mean, I am highly excited and I know we're going to get so many different things. We're going to get like the creation suite is going to be insane. The fact that we're going to get Cody Rhodes in two games, does that mean that like the forbidden door for like wrestlers being used in games ends? Like, are we going to get legends in both games, AEW and WWE? Because that's something we were concerned about. Like, we're like, yo, is AEW going to get some of the legends? Because they're in the WWE game, we're not going to get them. And then we're going to have a saturated roster or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a, a minuscule type of roster. Like, so WWE 2K22 didn't have that many legends. And that is why a lot of people were upset with the game more than anything where the legends and who you get to choose from and the different attires and the years you get the legend like we only get one year of Shawn Michaels I believe like we didn't get like a a super like prime Shawn Michaels I guess and um yeah it's a little bit of a shame I guess so to speak but not that bad you can't knock the game just for one thing so overall I think of two scenarios we get something in SummerSlam we're gonna get the game this year in the fall we do not get any reveal in SummerSlam. We're going to get it next year in the spring. And we'll probably get the reveal around Survivor Series time. And that's all I can say because I don't want to keep saying things that are false. I'm trying to keep things in the ballpark. And I showed you guys the list of those release dates. And don't worry, I will put the links to everything that I showed in this video uh, in the description of this video. So guys, thank you once more for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. JC from Fittest Gamers. Remember to brush your teeth, wash your hands, and clean your ass. Thank you once again. Get us to the 5K subscriber mark. More things to come. With your support, it pushes us to do more. And remember, guys, God is real. God is great. God is good. Always and always, God is good. God is alive. God is not dead. And miracles do happen. Miracles are real. Remember all of this that I'm stating. And I'm stating it because I'm a living testament of an awful car accident that happened to me back on June 10th. And I'm still here by the grace of God and my angels that he sent to protect me. So remember that, guys. just wanted to give that. I always close the video by saying that. Luke 137. For with God, all things are possible. And if you stayed this long, I hope these words could connect with you. Thank you guys once more. God bless you all. And we're logging out. Cue the static now.